Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody just left me a message on one of my videos that had text in it, and he said his virtual segment delete key will not delete the lines. Well, they won't delete the lines on a text. This is a text, it's aerial. So select them both, go to a range and convert them to a curve, and then it will work. Draw rectangles, it'll work. Draw lines, it'll work. Draw circles, it'll work. Even an index line will stop it from cutting all the way through. I use index lines all the time. So if you're trying to cut a text, it has to be a curve before it will work. So let's just do one real quick. Get it over here out of the way. I'm going to left click, no fill. Left click, no fill, right click, hairline, red, get our virtual segment delete key, and it won't delete them because it's a curve. Now let's do this. Let's go control K and break the, the text apart. Now let's just take two of the letters and put it like right there. Let's zoom in. It's still not going to cut it because it's still a text. But select both of them, go to range, and convert to curve, and then it will cut. And keep in mind with the virtual segment delete key, you can use the alt key, and it'll do anything you just touch with it. You don't have to, uh, well, this is all connected. See, I cut that all the way. But if you use the Alt key on a lot of lines, let's just make a line and duplicate it. Normally, well, let's do it. Let's do this here. Control D and make a duplicate. Rotate them 90 degrees. That's going to be a little bit difficult to cut with a line. So select it all. I'm going to rotate it just a hair. And holding down the holding down the holding down the alt key kind of gives you a line. If you can see that. If you try without the holding it down, you get the square box and you might not be able to get it all. So if you had some you know particular case, well just like I had it before. Let me back up where it was kind of rotated. Well you couldn't use a box here. Because you can't get that old line. So that's where you're going to want to use the Alt key because you can draw a line through it. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and thank you for watching.